Michelle. Thanks so much for joining. Okay, when you see me in pink, I'm on vacation mode because it's great lighting here. Um, so today, I'm not going to share any advice. I am going to share with you my employee purchases that I picked up when I was working for Vuitton. So first of all, thank you to all my subscribers for joining me. And I know a lot of you watch and haven't subscribed yet. So don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. No shopping advice today. I'm just going to talk about my purchases. Well, I guess the advice that I'm going to give you is, is it worth it for retail price? But I'm going to show you most of my pieces are ready to wear in shoes. And no, unfortunately, I did not get any handbags. When oh, okay. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, the employee discount is like not very usable. You get 30% off of the retail price of the items in the store, but they were very strict. They had to have enough of the product to be able to sell you, which was like quantity of three or more. Couldn't be anything popular. Couldn't be anything that had been released for less than six months. And on my salary, there wasn't much that I wanted to buy. But they did have the employee online store. This you can only shop online in the store through the intranet. So the internet system inside the store. And that's where they would list shoes and ready to wear in tiny little pictures. And we just have to guess if that item would work for us and put it in the cart. So that was our way to shop. I did pick up mostly ready to wear and shoes that the discount was about 80 to 90%. The handbags on the site and the SLGs were very scarce and often things that were like not very wearable. So nothing that I wanted to snatch up and the discount on the handbags was not 80 to 90%. Um, it was probably more in the range of 40 I did talk about my watch in a previous video. This is probably the item that I use the most. It is called the Tambor Lovely Cup. I believe it's 2011. So for this, I had to wait on EOS. This was a special sale where um, literally I had the day off, luckily, and my coworker and I stocked the computer, stocked the website. <laughs> It was the employee online store is only accessible from the intranet. So in the store. So we had gone at 8 a.m. because it was one of those sales where they don't even tell you what time the product is going to go on sale. You just wait until you see it. They gave us a sheet to study, find jewelry and watches, and you had to have super fast fingers to put the item in the cart and check out before anyone else did. That's how exclusive it was it was like playing the lotto and i was the only person in my store to score a watch and everyone was a little bit jealous um retail price of this is 3650 the price i paid was 365 dollars put taxes on that so it was roughly 400 dollars would i spend three thousand six hundred fifty dollars for a rubber band sports watch no but I think 365 is a good deal. You can see all the beautiful details. It has a mother of pearl face and little tiny diamond chips in place of, you know, for the number marks. I also have a white band that I can switch out to if I wanted to, but you know, my favorite color is pink. I was considering selling her, but the more I wear it, I really do like it. Here's a quick overview of the shoes that I purchased from the Silhouette Sandal, the New Wave Platform, my glittery sneakers, and the Espadrilles, all which are most comfortable wearing on the carpet. Yep, they are not built for walking, and if I were to break them in, they would actually ruin the look of the shoe. So I keep the walking light. This is a cashmere sweater dress. It is really short. <laughs> and you can see I've paired this with the glittery gold sneakers. In the winter, I will wear my Spanx with this. This has some cute sleeve detail that you can open. So that hangs open. It does not detach. It just hangs open. Now the only logo on it is right there. So I do like that they're not so logoed. This is 50% silk and 50% cashmere. The retail price of it is 2000 
What I paid for it was 200. I am shocked because look at the material of this. It is nice, but um, it's nothing extraordinary. So even paying for 200 for it, I was like, okay, that's a fair price. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I do wish there were other colors. So they do limit you to whatever color they have on hand and they happen to have green and that's okay. I love green. Let's see what else we got. T-shirt dress. Let me show you up close. It's just a t-shirt dress, but it's got this, um, I don't know what material is. this is. Got that in the front, little drawstring. So it's, it's just a cute little t-shirt dress. I, I like this dress. It's really just comfortable to throw on in the summer. This retailed for $900 for a t-shirt dress. This was my best bargain at $90. That's the cheapest thing that I've ever bought from the time. So $90 for this dress. I usually wear it with black flats or sandals, but I do tend to throw on the Louis espadrilles, like, cause they're kind of fun, kind of fun together. I'm not one to be too matchy matchy. I just kind of like mixing the casual, the casual look with the casual dress. Oh, and you can, you know, like I said, wear flats. Let's change the flats. You can also change it up or even put on the heels. If you know, if you want to be like, a tad bit dressier. Oh, I should have brought my handbag collection. Okay, anyways, this also came in a t-shirt, but I, I love wearing dresses, so this is perfect for me. Sometimes you are just staring at that store online and you're thinking, what can I buy? You know, as the nature of online shopping. So I do remember debating over this top for a while, and I would always consult my managers. They were like, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, why not? So I went for it. It's a basic piece and I think it's a great piece to have. It's just a staple in any wardrobe. You know, it's good to have just some basic pieces in your wardrobe that are layerable. This one is modal. I like the top of it. It might be a little too small for me in some, in some spots. The seam of this lies a little bit funny, but it's a great layering piece and a great to throw on a shawl with and instantly elevate your look. So this piece was, um, it was $90. Decent for just a basic piece that will stay in your wardrobe for a long time. Oh, what I do like about it, what I have noticed it as compared to some of my non-branded black t-shirts is that the color has stayed in the shirt. Like it's, it hasn't faded. And that's, that goes the same for um, all of the other ready to wear that I have is that it's not going to fade, you know, like, like your Zara and your Norsham clothes. I've talked about this a couple times. Louis Vuitton shawls are snagalicious. Snag, 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 snag. <laughs> so thank God I didn't pay full retail price of this. Would have been $800. The price I paid was two. It's a rectangle. Whereas the ones that you would find in the store are now squares. Pretty much just use this like as a blanket around my shoulders. This is from the Steven Sprouse collection. And the, where is the Vuitton? Here it is, right there. 70% cashmere and 30% silk. This, these little threads, these little threads come loose constantly. So it could get a little annoying. Um, I don't remember the retail of this. It was somewhere around 200. Um, it's a very, very big accessory. So, you know, when you wear this, you gotta wear this. Like this, this, this scarf, I feel sometimes wears me because I'm not that tall, but I'm gonna show you a couple ways to wear them. Make your little loop and then you can Put the whole thing through but this is still quite bulky i'm going to show you another way here i'm going to put one piece through the loop and then twist it and now send another piece through the loop and you'll get this braided effect that's a lot of layers for summer but this is like it's kind of a good scarf to throw on to um, like on the airplane, for instance, because you never know if it's going to be hot or cold, even in the summer, or like, you know, I'm on vacation and 
I'm in the hotel. You never know how cold it's going to be. So it's a good, it's a good little blanket wrap too. Last piece I want to share with you. This is not a, this is not an employee purchase. This was an employee uniform and I almost sold it. Uh, but I was watching Sophie Shohei and how she loved her Balmain blazer. And I am nowhere close to being able to purchase a, Bal a Balmain. So I was like, I have a Louis blazer in my closet that will, that will do for now. So this, it's got this, it's a little funky. They never made things just easy, right? So you gotta button it here and then you gotta button it here. <laughs> and it's too darn hot where I am to wear this all buttoned up. Never wore this on the floor. I think I did once and was sweating because you've got to run through the store and up and down the ladders, up and down going into the drawers. You're getting a workout impossible to wear on the floor. Anyways, but anyway, I got some comments that, hey, it looks good. And they do bring in tailors to tailor the clothes to you. So anyhow, um, I, it's even t tight. I won't wear it that way. <laughs> so it's got this this little thing. It's a little funny, but I mean, nobody notices it when I'm just like, you know, out the streets wearing this with my with my casual outfit. So anyways, I'm glad to pick this up because it's it will just stay in my closet as a wardrobe essential if I ever need to throw on a blazer for any reason, like, you know, just to, again, elevate my outfit. If you're to this part of the video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was. And as always, thank you guys so much for joining and watching and supporting my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.